Well, is normally if that went through probably would be a water elemental maybe slightly irritated maybe not uh but yeah water elemental however oh. uh wow. judging from the from the size and the different coloration because after uh after Mosserin lighted up the torches you can see that uh yeah it's like it's all solid, but the coloration is like it's less water and more slime, like sludge, oily, dark sludge uh, substance. Uh, so I think also something went wrong with that uh, elemental because it was like going full like oil elemental. Like <laughs> sludge, sludge, sludge. Oh slime. God, keep it away from the US military. <laughs> And considering how it was erupting, yeah, probably would have been quite, quite large. Hmm. Stop being so large. Okay, so what do we have to do to finish the spell? Uh, how what? <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Even Mosserin <laughs> looks at you like, what? I'm going back upstairs. <laughs> looks at Mosserin. You're, you're right, we're done here. <laughs> yeah, like... Wait, what did anybody we... investigate for anything to, like, snag? <laughs> I'm not. You can do whatever you want. I'm not a rogue, uh, I'm, okay? I'm currently trying to, like, take a look at the walls, because you said there was, like, writing on them, right? I want to uh, read some of it. See if I can't get any information about these people and like stuff they do and whatnot. It was mostly like it's not something that um, will provide breakthrough information. Okay. Um. Then he's going to gather the bodies and. Start making some gravestones. Alright, so... Uh, it's probably a good thing that when that happens, some of the parties are already moving out. Uh, because two things happen. When... Uh, when Mosserin... Uh, start like moving uh, one of the body, trying to be very gentle, because it's like one yeah. wrong move and you're just gonna snap them in, in half. And just gonna like fucking dissolve into a pile of ashes. Uh, with yeah. that five, yes, Gerard. Uh, Gerard finds something. Oh. Uh, as mentioned, oh, no. that uh, there is no splendor here. However, his uh, avaricious eye manages to find like a glint in all of the that rune work. That that not, not rune, but that uh, those engravings. And actually, in the middle of uh, one of them, uh, there's a glint of a uh, small but very uh, nicely made. Uh, wait, what sort of gemstone is associated like with C in terms of like color? Uh, prismarine, aquamarine, pearls, all those things. Yes, uh, you find some very nicely, uh, probably worth a nice sum of money. Um, aquamarine. And when you grab it, it's not hard to uh, dislodge. Uh, those two things happening at the same time. Uh, everyone with their like insane perception starts hearing some cracking noise. Uh, and when glancing towards the source, you notice that this weird inert statue of impromptu water elemental slash uh, oily sludge, mm, there are cracks forming. Oh, I did a bad. 
Looks at Hanami. I did a bad. I'm, going, I'm sprinting I'm up the stairs. stairs. Yeah, <laughs> We're going upstairs. Up the stairs. We are like halfway up the stairs by now. <laughs> I start sprinting all the way up the stairs immediately. Dude, I just... will tell you, what did you do? As soon, if you start sprinting up the stairs behind me, I'm going to trip you and make you fall back down. <laughs> no, what you do it? Mom, we're in danger. Yeah, it's your fault. And it trips you. <laughs> okay. Roots and Hanami, they did mention they were leaving beforehand. Uh, Mosarin and uh, Gerard, please give me... What would be for sprinting? Uh, either athletics... Wait, would be yeah, athletics or uh, constitution. Either athletics skill check or constitution saving throw. I can't do either of those well. <laughs> Mosrin is more focused on the bodies. Oh. At this I'll point, be at this point, before before I start sprinting away, I'm gonna look at Mosrin and I'm gonna say, Mosrin, we gotta go. We gotta go right now. <laughs> I did it bad. <laughs> More cracks show, Most and you is. see dark, rotting, not even water, but like sludge-like substance leaking from more and more of those cracks. Mosrin has to recover the bodies. Mosrin, you don't have to recover these bodies. It's in his name. <laughs> Mosrin, you don't need them. His name has the word moss in it, dude. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Mossrin, how about this? We'll come get the bodies after we deal with this upstairs. The bodies won't be here anymore if this happens. It's okay. This becomes their tomb. <laughs> I can't. Of course, this guy doesn't catch the, the, the sounds, but they're like sounds of even more cracks and something deep in your gut tells you that oh if this is weird magic shit there's probably uh, this statue air quotes probably has more substance inside of it than you would initially assumed it's bigger on the inside it's a tardis i i still have to I, I just, I have to grab the body. He, this uh, will be... Is, uh, he, will, he will gather the bodies before doing any sort of self-preservation. Mosrin, you're a good soldier, but I will prevent... <laughs> All right, so what happens and what Mosrin is like the first uh, line witness. The first, the upper part of statue erupts like a geyser. And with more sub water, I say water, but it's like, yeah, with like boggy, swampy, slimy substance. A tidal wave forms in the room that will start rapidly uh, flooding the entire underground uh, Have I gathered all area. the bodies by now? If we are That's focused... It. I'm helping Mosrin. If you are focused on them, and not your uh, self-preservation, -pre uh, you can. But it's, gonna, right. but yep. it's gonna hurt. Okay. That's fine. Can I help him? Is it possible? You can. I help because I'm not <laughs> leaving him behind. Because I may not, I may not look like I like anybody, but I like him. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> it's it's that classic action scene. Cuts to like. Calm music. They're just like yeah. going through a shopping center. I'm like, oh hey, look, I found some bread, and I like hold it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we, we've talk. got the bodies. If we I don't... activate arms of astral self, do I get extra arms to carry all the bodies with? This is probably your main contribution to helping. Uh, because, I do it because you have to like act very quickly and basically keep the bodies aloft. Uh, and also, like, go uh, to the, like, 
exit. Uh, but that dark oil sludge, this stench hits you uh, full force. And there's even a moment that you can swear you hear throughout the substance rushing in, you can hear the uh, whispers. Something. Of something. They are, they are just not specific words, but well, stuff like on the like edge of your of your hearing slash uh, uh, consciousness and that substance is like sand it gets everywhere from water in between your joints uh, in every crack. in every little crack in every little scar uh on your body it seems to like seek like a parasite like a symbiote trying to get in oh oh and, i'm glad i don't have any veins and find uh and find uh home and i'm gonna say uh because you did focus on getting out the bodies you're able to do so but because you put that uh, as your focus and not your sense of self-preservation. Those constitution saving throws. Uh, that one roll from Gerard then is okay, but Gerard has to roll again because the constitution saving throw is with disadvantage. Yep. All right. Even with my arms of astral self? Yes. The arms oh. of astral self are enable enabler that basically gives like the right to that we are able to get the bodies out. 16, damn. Yeah. I'm gonna, because this is possibly going to kill me, I will expend a lucky on this. I wouldn't kill a uh, <laughs> player character because of one roll. Two, on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, we cut to... Uh, hanami and fruit that are fucking uh, looting houses. I'm gonna say nothing worthwhile for me to put on a, a loot sheet. Just the, what I said, they did not live here in Splendor. Just your regular water gut priest mm -hmm. fearing folk. Uh, nothing unusual. And because they like. Because of the tracks found, it is pretty clear that most of them, if not of them, left. And you find plenty of houses completely cleaned. Not transacted, but probably those who lived here grabbed all the things they could and left. Oh, sweet girl. And you see us hunting uh, Mosserin. And then Gerard just almost come flying out from that uh, uh, from that uh, entrance uh, underground. The statue ching, covers back after them, uh, but then like you see small pool of this dark boggy substance forming around the bottom of the statue, and you see the all of the statues. Uh, start essentially bleeding from their uh, eyes. It's time to leave. <laughs> Found a yeah. gem. I look I look thread. I look thread and I'm like, not necessarily my fault. It was just a random gen in a random corner. I picked it up. I think it could be my fault. It's definitely <laughs> your fault. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, Gerard says all of that, <laughs> but as this continues to speak, you notice how Hail his, and he manages to say all of this. He might not even realize as he's swaying on his feet, his gaze goes glazed, and you can almost swear you see uh, small tendrils of small tendrils of like something dark dancing at the edges of his eyes. At the corners of his, uh, at his eyes. <clears throat> uh, Can I Gerard, do a check? Uh, at this point in time, you are under the condition of diseased. 
Poisoned. Oh Diseased, poisoned, and uh, have. you gain. Actually, uh, roll me d5. <sighs> Give me a second. Yep, here it comes. D5. The keyboard is completely Actually, it would be D4, sorry. Oh, D4? Yep. My apologies. It's... Uh... Boop. I don't know if that's the worst or the best it could have been. And you, and you, have, and you have one level of exhaustion. That's the best it could have been! <laughs> Alright, I tightened the bandana around my fucking face and I'm like, God damn it, kid. And she's just gonna pick you up and put her over put you over her shoulder like a sack of potatoes and she's okay. like, We need to get out of here <laughs> and she's gonna start running. <laughs> she'll see Crap. like the goop spreading out from the fucking statues and she's like, Oh fucking god damn it. <laughs> Where are my status effects? Uh poison Exhaustion's diseased. up at the top. And the, ah sorry, yeah. Uh exhaustion is uh... like at the top, um, left of your character sheet. At least in Forge, I don't know where it is. Yeah, in Forge, top left, uh, the, the smiley face, and it's zero. If you hover, yeah, you have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can recognize that he has disease in uh, poison, right? Uh, yeah, uh, seems like, and you basically notice that not only you know, the corners of his eyes, but as you start seeing the veins on his body, they start changing color. Ooh, shit, not good. Help! He's like running just... after me, <laughs> holding him, and you just like slap him on the leg in the back. Yeah. <laughs> so you can end the disease or my poison, you have to pick. The is, disease yeah. is a bit worse than the poison. Yeah. Oh boy, can't see what. Can't wait. You and all creatures from 30 feet gain oh. vulnerability to piercing damage. Wow. Oh, thank God you just For a minute. And, like, stab him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. You. Yeah. If someone shoots yeah. an arrow at us, we die. I mean, it's only for a minute. So, which one you picked? Uh, disease. <laughs> They're curing my disease. All right. You see that the dark veiny effect is starting to recede, and the same thing for his uh, for his eyes. But um, man, still pale did, as hell. Whatever it did to him, he's still uh, pale. Gerard can feel like his stomach is at the same time on fire and. On it, icy cold. Is this not? I don't even know why I'm sick. Why am I sick? Why is Mosra not sick? He's I'm made, made of, of fucking rock. <laughs> he is made of rock. I don't think most disease would be able to really affect him. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. I'm being a little salty here, but good you point. Yeah, human. <laughs> Plus, he passed the living throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh but like yeah, in, that. in lore, we're like he's literally made of stone. Yeah. <laughs> literally, my people were carved from rock. Yeah. We are uh, living statues. I think I'd run out of the village, like just with like a dead sprint out, and then like once we get somewhere a little safe, I would like put Gerard down. Yep. Yeah, now probably keeping, uh, yeah. keeping eye out just in case if you like look backwards being at the edge of the village. You see that at some point, basically most of the inner plaza uh, next to the statue is uh, has like this like small flat pool of this weird substance. And basically if you like, as the time goes on, like more minutes pass by, uh, if you are around, you would notice that there are some vaguely humanoid, but probably not shapes, starting to be formed in that pool. Do we? Should we deal with that? 
I'm sure it will be fine. It's not. I mean, it's not fine. <laughs> it's not like anyone's going over there. They they already left the town. Yeah, it seems like Jared, it's going to be me? quite a few of them. Uh, but you do not see the pool itself. It's not spreading. Okay. Uh, See, look, it's contained. Gerard, do you have any, like, planks of wood? I'm going to make a sign out near the oh. road. <laughs> uh, at this point, you can definitely check in the armpit. <laughs> I don't want to fucking put my hand in there, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I am I think I'm still passed out, am I not? You're just tired and you feel mm. like shit. Not You're I like don't know. Passed dead. out, but you are feeling extremely... Uh, Unwell, and you are start getting like more and more desire to throw up. Really, if bastard. I need to, I was gonna say I... I'll just start yanking planks from buildings. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just yank uh, planks as well and give them to Hanami because Hanami knows Monster how to use gonna start, uh, Monster's gonna start. Monster's gonna start carving those headstones for the priest. At this point, I need to make a statement, guys. I'm gonna throw up. I'm sorry. God. Game or real life. In, yeah. in game, <laughs> I'm playing up to my status effect. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, it just looks like you're like, oh, better out than in. Yep. Yeah, so, I just like that you just made what was essentially a Shrek reference in a D and D. Bro, I played an entire one shot, literally called Shrek Quest. Okay. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> We fought the Muffin Man. It was great. The Muffin, the muffin Man. man. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you guys know that reference? What it's to? Muffin Man. The it's a murderer from part? England. No, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I assume oh, I they see. build some keep out signs, and they also, I assume, are making mm -hmm. tombstones. I'm gonna say I keep am. out disease, <laughs> and like at the main road where it offshoots, like put it down there. <laughs> This is disease. Don't go in there. <laughs> All right. Monster and focuses on making graves for these guys. I'm pretty sure there's also some kind of check, like trying to like, you know, even there isn't. Um, yeah. Uh, you can make to see if you are able to like expel using your body, expel these poison. I will definitely give it a shot. From con save? Your stream. Yeah, that would be a con save. Hey! All right. All right. So you are able, as you, the others start hearing the sounds of retching as uh, Gerard is on all fours, heaving as he throws up, and it's not like you usually see, like oh, someone drank too much or something. He throws up sludge. Like slimy, weird, oily uh, substance. And your throat, your stomach as you're doing that, feels like it's on fire. However, you are able to persevere. And yet, I'm gonna say this. You, from like the internal like strain, and what not, you're gonna take half of what I'm gonna roll. So, five points of damage. This The process goes for a few more moments, uh, but you see at the end of it, uh, Gerard is heaving a little bit, uh, sweating, uh, but the color starts returning um, to his skin. Well, the original Guys. color, I should say. Yeah, the red. I'm red again. <laughs> Looks at hand. I'm not He's gonna... pink. <laughs> He's gonna After walk you... over and pat them on the back. I'll help them get up. And I'll just be like, did you learn your lesson? Oh, damn. I don't even know what I did. I'm gonna be real. That gem had nothing to... I don't think the gem had anything to do with what happened there. Did you take a close look at it before you <laughs> just grabbed it? Or did you just yoink it? Looks at gem closer. 
What do I need to roll to figure out what if it was my fault or not? Insight? You now feel slightly more vulnerable to thunder damage. We got a lot of vulnerabilities. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to roll insight, like self insight, sure, go for it. I want to know if this gem was the cause. Are you the issue? The answer is yes and no. The gem became a part of the issue because you just took it. Uh, the thing is, you, you guess from your previous uh, skill checks, the knowledge that you have acquired, like seeing all of that weird shit. And considering the theme of that room, that was that everything was frozen in place, like still, uh, inert. Yes. Uh, you believe that uh, not only like taking a gem, but also taking the bodies, like moving the bodies, uh, destroyed the sense of inertia in that place and caused the stuff to uh, proceed onwards. Based on my unnecessarily powerful knowledge, uh, it was a combination of both me and Mosrin. Yeah, that's However, fair. I mean, you I... would also know that, that if you didn't take the gem and Mosrin took the bodies, the same would have still happened. I also state that. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't touch things in weird places, like dead bodies and shit. You just leave it. I have don't touch it. To. But I have... What, an aquamarine You gem, don't correct? have to. <laughs> uh, yes. You I have to. Like is <laughs> there... Sorry, I'm interested in it, but is there like a skill check to appraise? I know the Pathfinder has like a skill uh, for that. It's it, sort appraisal. Of. It's appraisal. like investigation. How to... Usually? Let me... Yeah, let me Google how to appraise in 5e. There's generally an official rule for this. Uh... Other than Arcana, if it's magical, otherwise it's just an intelligence check from the PHP 178, I guess. Uh, it's, yeah. not, it's not magical. Actually, uh, yeah. you know what? Jeweler's kit for gems. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have if, if, you, if you want to go for Jeweler's kit or uh, for Arcana, go for it. Uh, who's got a really high Arcana? <laughs> I, I have no high Arcana. I have a plus six. There you go. Cool. Identify, please. Hold. Chem out. Cool. Do a thing. Okay. That worked uh, a whole lot better than those tools. Appraise. Yeah. Cons considering you, like, you know some of the other gemstones you found, this one probably might go for like a hundred uh, if you find like a proper place to sell it. However, with a 20 arcana, uh, you know that with a little bit of work, this can be used to uh, create an amulet. Uh, I'm gonna come up with like first example that comes to my head, but I'm just gonna say that this doesn't have the own the only one. Like for example, amulet of uh, water breathing. Uh, basically, a s magical effect that's water based. So either water breathing or giving you swim speed, or uh, something essentially that if you can think of a spell that's let's just let's say for my sanity that's water based uh that's water based but also that is uh fourth level or lower cool then you can i just wrote that down on the gem so you, you can you can that. use that aquamarine as a basically crafting uh, component who has the master and you wanna you want to do some tinkering tink tink uh, I'm not an artificer, but sure. I mean, you do have the gem tools, the jeweler's tools. Yeah, it, yeah. it would require those. To be fair, we do have an uh, artificer in the party, but I don't... <laughs> do we have an artificer in the party? We do! Who's the artificer? Hanami <laughs> blinks at you. Think, think. Hanami, come here. You and Mosrin make... I don't know anything about jewels. He walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs you and pulls you back? Start stabbing you. Economy <laughs> doesn't like to be touched. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure Beatrix. Are they? I might be getting that wrong. Technically, artificers. No, they're ranger. Any... Artificers have uh, proficiency in any tool. So Hanami, you have no, you have all requirements to do this. It's only if I train to be proficient in it by swapping another proficiency, which Hanami 
Probably wouldn't do. What particular artificer are you? I'm an artillerist. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you don't have the I can turn my tools into any other tool and gain proficiency I do. magically. Right tool for the job. Oh, <laughs> you realize that you don't have to throw away a proficiency. You gain with that spell. Just shrug. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I guess it's just <laughs> me and you, Monstrin. We're gonna make a thing. You'll have some Summon time. elemental. You'll have some time. <laughs> Start smoking from their pipe. It's like, um, not, so far, the only two that I'm really seeing that could be water-related are Watery Sphere and Summon Elemental, which are fourth level. Let's make a Summon Elemental. <laughs> oh, yes, because that went so well for them. Well, the difference is, is we're not doing it like a cult. We're doing it like normal people. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Don't question it. Accept it. What what level is the rarity of that item? What item? The uh, the gems? Yeah. It's, no, summoning the water elemental. What what? What rarity of like? Oh, uh, summon water elemental. Oh, I'm not even using the keyboard. I forgot. Opens up other laptop. Oh, wait. The watery sphere kind of works like a gelatinous cube in a way. Summon water elemental. Why are we summoning a watering elemental? 5e item. I mean, I'm not looking at the summon elemental yet. You no, need I... a bowl of commanding for a water elemental, apparently. A bowl of commanding? You don't need one, it'll just go haywire. Uh, they are basically using <laughs> over water-based spells that are, are fourth level or lower, because they've... Mm. I, basically, that aquamarine Gerard got, it can be used as a crafting component to make an oh. amulet, uh, like a magical item. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This is, this is watery sphere. It looks pretty neat. We can use it to restrain enemies. Yeah, we can put someone in there and they can slowly drown. <laughs> Watery Wait, sphere really? sounds safer and better. I'm just saying it might take us like a These are these are just the fourth level uh ones though. We should we can also take a look at like third, second, and first. Well what and are those? Trip, I guess. Um well, I'm looking for really them now. Because it's very versatile. But I think control water is a higher level. Gerberat. What? Create food and water. But I don't think we really need that one. Control water is fourth, huh? Okay. Wait, control water is fourth? Why didn't I see it? It's yeah. a cleric spell list. I, I'm i looking at all spells. Yeah, it's a thing that can... Yeah, I didn't give restriction on class, just it has to be water-based, and it has to be 4th level or lower. Control water is really good because you can use it to move water, you can use it to create tidal waves, you can redirect rivers, you can create a whirlpool, you can do whatever you want. You can kind of just do what... Just it's do the Play-Doh of spells. <laughs> it's the Play-Doh of spells. Just like water. <laughs> Stinking cloud. Clouds yeah, or water? Man, that one's poison, not Paper. water. <laughs> oh. Someone... Wrong. Wall of sand or... Oh, no. Wall of water found it. You literally want to take a week or so. There's also that. water walk. Yeah, you don't have to... Actually, it's better if you don't... Like, you will have a week to figure this out. This is, like, happening in the... Mm -hmm. Like... Yeah, yeah, downtime. yeah. Uh, and as the you continue your journey, uh, you can mark off another Russian as we are getting ever closer uh, to Port of um, Golden Leaf. Huzzah, Russian! I marked off one for Beatrix as well. All right. Thank you. And um, you would notice a few things. One, uh, there is 
yeah, the weather is getting slightly better. It's still hot. Uh, it's still like warm. Very warm, but not like uh, scorching uh, hot. Uh, however, you will start noticing some damage uh, being done to the farmlands as, as you arrive in this hex. Uh, you would probably figure out that uh, this area was generally used as uh, one of the main bread baskets for Port of Gondolin Leaf to just farm, uh, grow, uh, food and whatnot. And quite a lot of it seems to be... Uh, seems to be destroyed. Uh, you actually even see some of the farmlands, farmlands that are still on fire. There is a lot of uh, smoke in the air, some of the uh, villages. And the ashen rain from the volcano seems to also be uh, active. So there's a lot of ash and smoke uh, in the air, slightly limiting vision, but not limiting it completely. And you have to like probably take some scarves, blanket, not blankets, but a uh, piece of clothing and cover your uh, faces as the uh, air condition is uh, not exactly the best. Huh. Everything sucks. That's okay. And we're walking through. <laughs> and the farm's on And fire. while you're... You left the... The, uh... Sorry, I completely lost train of thought. I believe in you. You can do it. You are able to tell that this destruction maybe some of the fire started naturally from all of the heat, but you also managed to spot, despite everything, signs of past battles, and by past I mean something that happened in recent uh, days, or like in the uh, past week. Uh, there are still plenty of spaces that still have like slow, low intensity, but widespread fires simmering. Uh, embers, uh, plumes of uh, uh, plumes of smoke and sadly doesn't look like there's like any particularly clear area um, especially since uh, the quickest path to the crossing um, because there's like if you want to go along the path and there's like one um, white uh, river um, uh, crossing through this, um, passing through this area, there is like a castle slash crossing uh, present. So maybe there are some uh, forces slash soldiers present uh, there. Uh, you all, you are traveling through, and due to the hard weather conditions. Uh, I would, again, one more, uh, require uh, one survival check and one stealth check. Assuming you are still trying to hide in case there are there is any danger uh, lopping around. Let's see... Uh -huh. What stuff I gave? Ugh. Well, actually, I have good survival. Yeah, they are there not very go. good. Twenty-seven. Oh wait, do I need to roll survival? No, nah, you're good. Oh no, you are like one uh, of us. yeah, helping, either providing assistance. I, uh, with... Generally, I take the help action unless I know for a fact I am the most proficient in that. No, yeah, you're good. yeah, that's that's completely fine. So, uh. There is one moment when you pause and not really stand still, but like crouch down, find a good uh, cover. Uh, because for the most part, you didn't find much uh, movement. You found plenty of charred, uh, scorched bodies, uh, plenty of corpses that 
had uh, signs of uh, violent death inflicted upon them by the way of uh, pitchfork, sword and whatnot. And then you spot some movement, but something in your gut tells you this is not uh, right. And between one moment and the other, you could have sworn you didn't hear any footsteps before. But then from one of the larger clouds of ash passing by on the ground, like a whoosh, uh, this bigger plume of uh, ash and smoke passing through, uh, there are six, uh, wait, six or five. Okay, uh, six uh, figures step through as they seem to be. You're not sure even if patrolling the area, but just like stepping forth, looking around, and just slowly uh, moving, uh, passing you by. And you will see one of these folks. Actually, let me. Hold on. Uh, fuck. Um. No, fuck. Right. That's where. Never mind. Okay. So we'll see one of these. Oh. Spooky. This seems to be a leader that leads the pack of these Ooh. pleasant gentlemen. Dark Souls. We're in Dark Souls. It's the Fume Knight. <laughs> Fucking go! <laughs> it's taken from Five Feet Tools. Very good. It's like ash based. You do not hear any breathing. You do not hear any like chat between them. They seem to be slowly looking around and then just moving forwards throughout this ash and fire. However, their passive perception is shit, so you are able to, like, without no problem, avoid them. Can I make a check to, like, what they are? Sure, like, go for what it. What the fuck is that? Like, history or arcana or what would it be? Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. History would be higher, DC. Uh, arcana would be slightly lower. Well, I'm shit at both. Let's see what we got. Five. <laughs> Don't know. You sadly have no idea. You probably, despite your varied adventures, you, you didn't met them before. <laughs> Sounds about right. Cool. <laughs> we have no idea. Hi, how do we find out? Yeah, history is slightly better. <laughs> Can I roll a history question? I assumed we were just going to pick one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah, most of them rolled that. both, so yeah, if someone wants to roll no, both. No, I, I, I deleted it anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, but we'll, roll both, actually. we'll let all of our garbage rolls stand. Yeah. Hey, how do we Who needs to know about the world no, you're we... in? I don't. So, yeah, it's fine. Hanami! Probably because they're like so long lived, something flashes in their memory like in the ages centuries long gone in the past uh, you do not know the theory behind it but you do remember that when again this, the environment was kind of similar uh, with a lot of fire and ash and it seemed like a, it was a place of violent uh, violence, like something bad happened there recently. Uh, these Ashen Elementals, because they are Elementals, seem to have been present. These look like upstanding civilians. I'm sure nothing wrong will go at all. Forgetting how much this world's been fucked for so long. Yeah. Okay, without like I, I, I can tell tell two things. They are Ashen. That's the like general name for these type of creatures, and they are elementals. <laughs> They're Ashen ones. Don't comment about their skin. But um What skin? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got a good point. 
I guess they're just called Ashen. I don't really remember much. You think they're collecting humanity? Uh. Oh. Super <laughs> All I see is darkness. Ah, dark. uh, fuck. I forgot to. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Sorry, you you, sh you you should have told me earlier that I didn't disable token vision. Fuck me. We I can't see shit. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Oh. That's more. F okay. I didn't know we were what? supposed to be saying oh. anything. <laughs> uh, that doesn't okay. look like. Let's just let's just go around. Yeah, let's something. go around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like there would be particularly nice. <laughs> I mean, that, the the way I describe it, like you were like energy in the middle, just going through, but avoiding uh, meeting with these ashen ones. Not ashen yeah. ones. Fuck. Fuck. They are just ashen. Like, above the board, ashen knight, ashen veteran, respectfully. Nice. Okay. It reminds me of, um, there's a creature in Kingdoms and Warfare supplement that's called the Ash Marshal. It reminds me of him. He's cool as fuck. Mm hmm. I wonder how many souls they have. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned it once. Mm -hmm. I know, but I, I like it. Probably, probably a good 1600. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. Them. <laughs> Anyone wants, they can roll me perception check based on hearing. Just Hell before yeah. you roll, yeah. Just I'm gonna tell this. Sometimes uh -huh. ignorance is bliss. Cool. Uh, Thru doesn't know how to turn off her ears. Sorry. I mean, zones out a lot, so they're probably just like. Hmm. I'm not gonna roll for Beatrix because it might be bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> giving them trouble to, when they're not even here. To shut our ears. Uh, rolling perception, and then he prefaced it with sometimes ignorance. If is bliss, you, if you so. want, and I specifically said like, if, if you, you want, wish to, yeah. because you just you don't have to roll, and then you just don't hear it. Well, I am an inexperienced teenager. <laughs> we all rolled shit, thankfully. Lucky. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Fate said no. <laughs> I mean, this is your role. Yes. Man. Sadly, like lucky, this session doesn't seem to be working so oh, far. Oh wait, I have a question. Work. It's just funny that it's there. I have I a mean, question. Yeah. You said it, at one point I can roll something with advantage during this session. Uh, yes, because it, it, I'm gonna make a horrible decision. <laughs> okay. You don't even need to roll it. <laughs> Okay, uh, so as you passed, actually one of these patrols, then the second one, as you are, like, the second one just left your uh, range of engagement, you're sure, like, you can still, like, see their outline silhouettes, uh, or maybe it's the same one, but they're, like, just teleporting between clouds of ash, you don't fucking know, sadly. Uh, Especially fruit. Not sure what, but I didn't manage. I didn't manage to read that before he deleted it. <laughs> That's dark bullshit. Yeah. Uh, maybe because they're like teleporting because comes of smoke. But first fruit with like from a distance with her amazing hearing, uh, and then uh, Mosserin. They would hear in a distance at first. Like, wait, maybe you're like hearing stuff. Uh, but then uh, you hear calls for help. Someone trapped, surrounded by fire. Sounds rather young from what you can guess. And that's like only fruit can like pick those details uh, up. And you realize that when you hear it, the... Ashen patrol that didn't leave your sight. They stop. And they look in the same direction uh, that you know that sound is coming from. And you see that they immediately start moving, entering into one of those clouds of uh, ash. You lose sight you lose sight of them. Imagining that right. maybe they just like moved fast uh, forward. 
So but, but yet a second, like, like take oh. one last thing, sorry. As like one moment takes in, second your heartbeat slows down. Like there's you still hear the sounds of help. But if your gut feeling is right, if you want to act, it's now or never. I'm about to act so fucking hard. Okay. <laughs> So everyone, I feel like we're like ducking between like behind ruins or like keeping low along hills, trying to keep out of these guys' view. Uh, and you see, as we're like moving closer to the ground, you just see Thrude's head like shoot up in a direction, which is the direction of like the sound. And then she just dead sprint, instantly starts running without saying anything to all of you. She's sprinting off. I, f I follow. Mushroom is no following. Thoughts. Master and heard a little bit of what you heard and it's know what's going on. I'm moving at 120 feet per second for six seconds. <laughs> I am sprinting, full like main action and bonus action. I am going. <laughs> Monster is slow. He will fall behind, but he's still going. I can keep up with like I'll be like 40 feet behind you. And sadly, oh, everyone's well winning. That 11 on stealth, it's not enough to uh, beat passive perception of Ashen Veteran. It was at least worth a shot. Yeah, sure. I will just roll fly stealth. following through, yeah, maybe going a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'll roll stealth. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'm glad we're all in agreement. <laughs> you ever, you ever, you ever see like those memes where like people oh, hey, to be stealthy and they freaking like smack directly into. Uh, like tubas and trombones and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly this. I mean, I'm if not we just really get trying up behind to be stealthy. Them and put a bucket over their head. The most she's trying to be stealthy is she's like bringing her cloak around her and going behind objects as she is running. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much as stealthy as she is getting. But I'm going to say with this rolls, uh, yes, yeah, surprise ain't going to be a thing. Yeah, that's fine. Other than, I mean, there's not even like surprise round, generally speaking, but. Uh, Hanami would be like, yeah, they do not know Hanami is there, but I need to ask a question. What is the primary goal? Are you going straight for the Ashen, trying to basically stab them slash destroy them before they reach the source? Or are you going for the source of whoever is uh, calling out for help? I go to I'm help. Going, I'm going to the help. To help this person. That's that's all I'm doing. I'm sprinting. I go help. All right. Follow. So if you're focusing on helping, it you might still be able to avoid like actual combat encounter. But now we are in a skill challenge. So uh, there are several elements. And I'm allowing uh, basically one person for the party role, and someone else can assist. And uh... <clears throat> actually, sorry, fuck, my brain is really working uh, badly. Essentially, there are two, uh, three challenges here. One is the challenge of speed. Basically getting there and doing things fast enough that uh, you are not risking the lives of the survivors. Uh, like, they are not put into crossfire in case Ashen Patrol manages to catch up to you. Two is the issue of uh, the challenge of strength. Because as you find those, the source of the calls for help, you find that this was like a pretty large, well-standing uh, uh, building some sort of like hotel slash uh, tavern uh, that now maybe it was like holding off for quite a while uh, but now it is uh, also burning and portions of it uh, collapsed so basically you need to either through strength or guile or like sm smarts uh, basically get through that or magic if you want to like use magic of some kind uh, and then making sure they will like survive the injuries they already sustained. So like medicine slash healing. Hmm. So who feels good with what? I'm strong. 
Roll your strong. I'm medical. I'm fast and I'm strong. We can explode right. the parts that have collapsed. You can certainly try. I, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, how fast could acid burn through some stuff? Uh. That all will tell us how well acid. you have you have applied it. I have a lot of acid. Well, you yeah. know, I could in combination work with the strong. All right, so that sounds like a good assistance for the for the strong Kong. Um, so uh, fruit would be able for that challenge of strength roll, either strength or athletics uh, with advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the issue of speed can be solved with either dexterity or. Uh, Either dexterity saving throw, constitution saving throw, or actually, or uh, acrob. No, wait, there's no acrobatics. Is it? There is, yeah. I'm fucking... yeah. There is. Yeah, or either acrobatics check or a uh, fucking. God damn it. Uh. Rain, please. Yeah, either acrobatics skill check or dexterity saving throw Athletics, or. or... Yeah. Athletics oh, is no, for, no, for like speed. strength. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Apologies. And uh, this is for like uh, speed or or survival, like try finding the quickest uh, path, essentially. Oh, so. Was it through guile? Uh, in regards to what? I thought you mentioned guile. That's why I'm. You said there's like speed, strength. Guile and no, no, no. medicine. Speed, strength, and medicine. And mm -hmm. strength was like a rather challenge of like being in a collapsed building. So you can either like deal with that brute force strength, or if you have like some clever idea, so through guile and wits, tackle that uh, thingy. Or hell, if you have like a smart, interesting idea, like witty idea for like mm -hmm. speed and medicine, you can also use that. But yeah, fruit is. Ooh. Okay. Uh, would huh. anyone be assisting so that Hanami rolls with advantage? Beatrix will. <laughs> <laughs> the dichotomy of man, truly. Really. <laughs> Hanami gets really frustrated with being undextrous, becomes suddenly dexterous. Just needs a little encouragement. From hell to heaven, I guess. Um, I'll do athletics for strength. Fourteen, not very good. I didn't sure. No, you didn't. Okay. I think uh, basically, uh, oh, actually. Gerard is helping you with that ice concoction to basically yes. melt through okay. like stuff quicker, so you can roll. How many advantage. acid vials would that consume? You know what? Roll, roll me two d two. Right, that eats three vials of acid for you. That was hilarious watching the coins just flip through the air. All right, and uh, yeah. Yeah, you are able to, basically, despite the fact that these ash motherfuckers probably can teleport through, uh, like, clouds of ash, you are still faster than them. You are still able to... Uh... I imagine because both Hanami... Like, Hanami is, like, the smallest party member, I think. But mm -hmm. uh, I imagine Batrix is also... I almost, like, imagine Batrix also not to be, like, very large. Yeah, she's, like, four foot something, <laughs> I think. Beatrix is six foot three. What? <laughs> oh my look. Where's this vicious biography? She's six Mosser, five. What the fuck? Yeah, he's almost Mosser, as tall as fucking three. Mosser oh is the second shortest one and he's six foot flat. <laughs> I'm six foot eight. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Okay. I know. <laughs> Alright. Uh so um 
Hanami maybe supported a little bit by the small bumblebees that are like flying around, uh, showing the way. Uh, is able to like squeeze in or like find path that the larger party members wouldn't. Finding shortcuts all around, uh, avoiding getting uh, distracted by uh, f not fucking weather by the smoke. And you have enough time that uh, with uh, impressive quick thinking from uh, Gerard and Fruit's natural, not natural uh, strength, uh, they're able to plow through uh, whatever debris stands in their uh, stands in their way, and you are able to to find. Let's see. You are able to find five survivals, and all of them are quite on the younger side. You would be surprised if, like, one of them is like a of adult age, like young adults, like seventeen or eighteen years old. The others are mostly kids and children. I pick up three of them, and I I look at Gerard, and I'm like, pick up the other two, and she's just like going out, like just carrying all of them. All right, looking like. Street urchins, uh, terrified, uh, completely like dirty with uh, ash and smoke, uh, looking malnourished, like very really easily without any uh, check. It's like when you pick them up, they almost like wait nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, so it seems like whatever this was happening here, it's been for a while and they've been barely like scrapping by uh, through that time, like probably maybe leaving. You know, like street urchin street rats, but like through some broken houses. Uh, basically, not a pleasant experience. And they like literally, even though they are like fearful of you, they have like no strength to basically resist and whatnot. Yeah, Sri so. would basically be like, "We're here to help. I'm gonna get you out of here." You know, firemen carry all these children. <laughs> yeah, they are like shock muted. Uh, but yeah, you are able to uh, successfully evacuate um, all of them. Avoid getting entangled with the uh, the Ashen, whatever they would be doing with those survivors if they found them. And yeah, now remains the question of medicine. Oh, can I like assist anybody because I have a healer's kit? That is fine, uh, Cap. I was gonna, we're just gonna like finish I this, just... and uh, there'll be like one last. Uh, scene to show where you arrive because yeah i'm doing this because this is the quickest way that can heal all of them at once okay sure. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> can i give you my cloak because it's like a huge black cloak i'll just like put it over you <laughs> i'm gonna I, I give you like one of those himalayan salt lamps I'm gonna give you a saving throw with advantage to see if you are able to act quick enough to basically prevent, like, have no chance of uh, mm -hmm. the Ash and, like, spotting this and trying to pursue. What saving throw would you like me to do? Uh, actually, it more, it's more. It's either on your part or Mosserin's, um, so that would be probably dexterity with advantage. Alright, well, I have a plus five, so I think. Yeah, I think you should do that. Yeah. <laughs> I have oh, yeah. a plus zero. Absolutely. You, you see are like, me, like, yeah. I whip off my fucking cloak and, like, throw it on to you, pretty much. And you just see, like, her entire body, it looks like, almost like, almost like a bug's carapace has gone over, like, her biceps and forearms and back. Because uh, that's my Simic hybrid ability. So, I look very fucking strange, which is probably why she's been wearing the cloak the whole time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I look like a fucking salt lamp. <laughs> a little Himalayan salt lamp. <laughs> yep. Okay, uh, that spell, whatever like small scraps and whatnot they had, sure that heals their hit points, but uh, there's still a matter of like exhaustion from uh, lack mm -hmm. of uh, enough food and uh, yep. just mm -hmm. general um... stuff. But yeah, you are able to... This is just a keep them here alive before we get away 
Yeah, Gerard is like, as we're walking, like, I'm like hurting all the children. I'm like, okay, come on, we're gonna go somewhere safe, kids, let's go. And Gerard's just passing out little snacks to all of them as we're going. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> he has a bunch of rations, uh... so I'm gonna take off five rations from it. Actually, there are children, so I think like three would be enough. Okay. Actually, uh, the other on the other hand, I said there are modernists. Sorry. Yeah, let's go with like I'll five. Say he would he would give the whole ration. He has like twenty something. So. Yeah. And then I, I thought like I already mentioned they're like slightly hungry, so yeah, yeah, full ration would be yeah. alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, and you are able to successfully uh, and skip save some kid. Yeah. Uh, evacuate. New kids basically, added. Basically, basically. Orphans, pretty much. Uh, street urchins that li barely scrubbed by. Uh, but risking your lives uh, for this. Uh, like trying to still do some good. Uh, yeah, all of you that participated. And I believe everyone in the party participated. Uh, add, give yourself plus one to sanity score. Yay. Wow. New children adopt. Yay. <laughs> Grandma Food obtains great grandchildren. <laughs> For real. She's like, fuck. <laughs> Save more children. <laughs> and yeah, one last thing before we call it for today. I will have like a freaking background page prepared because apparently I forgot to do it. Uh, as you'll be leaving the scorched ash and smoky portion of the uh, farmlands, it will take you. It will be like probably in the middle of the uh, night as you will be seeing in a distance uh, with some barely few torches still uh, working but probably left unattended. Uh, you would notice a uh, fort-like structure on a white river crossing with uh, with uh, the stony, sturdy looking bridge, sturdy bridge, at least from what the stories from other caravan goers said. And you would have expected, because this is like now straight way towards Port of Gunleaf, you would have expected seeing, uh, yeah, the ocean like left behind, you like past that uh, danger, they seem to be, whatever that is, they seem to be like, op they seem to be like focused on operating inside the like basically burned area of farmlands mm -hmm. in that clouds of smoke and ash. Uh, but yeah, as for the crossing, you expect to see uh, soldiers, militia, uh, barricades, signs of like actual, like some semblance of military protecting this route, welcoming refugees. But instead you see run down, abandoned, structure with the uh, these iron gates partially broken uh, partially opened uh, the bridge lowered some rusty equipment lying on the floor and not a single soldier guardsman or militiamen inside And to, and as you arrive to this deserted outpost, uh, this is where we're gonna uh, call the session for today. Cool. I'm now officially a grandma. Hell yeah! So excited. <laughs> I'm gonna be like Batman. I'm gonna teach them all how to fight. Give them knives. Really great. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, but it's really like, I'm like still feeling like, maybe it's partially because of PC, but it's fucking odd yeah. for me still, even though the pressure Rest got up. lower, but yeah. Yeah, sorry it went like it went, but I still hope it was um, partially interesting. I liked it. I thought it was yeah. Good. Yeah, the entire thing, because cool. it was like rolled from interesting locations, I was like, okay, I have to like improvise the entire thing. And I was like, yeah, cool, we can go with that. Yeah. I like Sorry it. that I went too far with the Dark Souls oh joke. No, oh, you're fine. Uh, I was making fun. I, yeah, I did not manage to like even read it, so I'm not sure. Oh, I know. I, yeah, I, I was making fun. He said something I, about like a, knight, a sword in the bonfire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A 
floating crystal of flame. <laughs> no, like mm -hmm. like that. I, I made sure to delete it quickly on purpose. Yeah, that's funny. Um, um, yeah. I think I have to like basically go and like cool off somehow. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I go take a cold shower. <laughs> Just like fucking sit in front of an open refrigerator. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I have a basement Either thing way. for you. That's all right, my Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Hopefully... My favorite part of the last survivors is when they last survive. You fucking oh, true, dude. Hopefully next week will be more. In. Less exhausting for me. Rest up, gamer. Talk to everybody Take care. next week. Yeah, see ya. See ya.